USA. Someday I hope to make you feel at home and happy when you check into my hotel and rent a car from me. I'm Carol Ann Marie Gibbs. There are two left. One is Miss USA. Next is Miss USA, Carol Gist. She's 20 years of age from Detroit. She's studying hotel management. Carol, since you were crowned, do your family and friends treat you any differently? No. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the positive things that I've seen as a result of winning is my family coming closer together. And I'm happy to be a, the cause of that. <laughs> I have seen interviews with you all over the media. Do you have any feeling that there is anything they shouldn't ask you? <laughs> well, um, I, I realize that now that I'm in the spotlight and I should be a role model. And if there are questions that they feel they should ask that will help me to uh, be a role model for the young people, I feel they should go ahead and ask them. All right, let me lighten up a little bit. You said somewhere when if you got married, you'd want your husband to take your last name. Is this true? Now, there are just 600 million people watching. Let's get this out in the open. Well, I'm proud of the, my last name, the Gist name, and I would like to be able to carry it on. All right, thank you very much. Stand by, please. Thank you, Miss USA, if you join the others. Miss USA, Carol Gist. Carol is six feet tall, 20 years of age. She has dark brown hair and dark brown eyes. I frequently advise young people to put only quality food and quality information in their bodies so they may lead a quality life. Miss Norway, Mona Groot. Miss USA. Finally, Miss USA. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our six semifinalists, one of whom will be Miss Universe 1990. <laughs> Miss USA, if you would please. Select a judge. Uh, there are two here. I'll just shake one off there. This is judge number eight, Deborah Nadulman. What has been the most difficult moment of your life, and what did you learn from it? Well, the most difficult part of my life was the last half of my high school days and the beginning part of my college days. I've learned that. I can be independent and take care of myself and go on to do whatever it is that I want to do. I have the gift of choice. God gave it to me. And I'm using it to go on and to enhance my life as well as share what I will attain through my entrepreneur endeavors with the young people of t tomorrow. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment. You have to wonder if Carol is thinking about the home country jinx tonight. It's been over 25 years since the contestant won Miss Universe in her own country. Thank you, Miss USA. Now that completes the competition for our six finalists. During the last year, there were thousands of young women all over the world hoping to become Miss Universe 1990, and by the time this evening rolled around, there were 71. And that 71 became 10. Those 10 became 6, and I am about to announce the names of the final three. 
Before I read their names, I'd like to congratulate all of you. You're all magnificent. Thank you very much for coming this far in face of extraordinary competition. Now again, ladies, I'm going to read these three names in no particular order. This is the final three. Miss USA. Now, the very last round of competition for our final three. We're going to ask each young lady one last question, the very same question. You'll have 20 seconds in which to answer. For this to be fair, we're going to make sure that the other two candidates don't hear the question or the response. So, if Miss Colombia and Miss Norway, please go to the soundproof booth. We'll play you some music in there. Miss USA, if you'll step over here, please. Would you hold my microphone for me, please? Uh, same question for everyone. If you were a judge tonight, who would you vote for to be the Miss Universe and why? Well, all of the girls who were here tonight were qualified and very unique and special in their own way. But I was very, very partial to my roommate. She was a wonderful young woman, and I wish her the best. And I'd have to say I'd vote for Miss Trinidad. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Would you step over here, please? Miss Norway. Miss Norway, we are asking everyone the same question. Thank you, ladies. Nicely done. And now, we have arrived at the final moment of decision. As each young lady steps forward, the judges will vote for the very last time, giving each contestant a ranking. They'll vote for her to be the second runner-up, the first runner-up, or the new Miss Universe. And we will begin with Miss USA. Now imagine what's going through this young woman's mind. She is Miss USA. Will she be the new Miss Universe? <laughs> Next is Miss Norway. Here we go, ladies. Step forward. I'm about to reveal the name of our first runner-up and the new Miss Universe. Let me remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. If Miss Universe can't complete her reign for any reason, our first runner-up will become Miss Universe. This had to be the most single difficult job the judges had. Good luck to both of you. The first runner-up is Miss USA. Miss Universe is Miss Norway. Mona Group. Norway, you are the Miss Universe 1990. You've won all the cash awards and the fabulous prizes worth nearly a quarter of a million dollars. And now, as your predecessor, Angela Visser, reads the Miss Universe Creed and our entire cast serenade you, the stage is yours for the traditional...